Hey guys, welcome back to the garden. So it's been a week since we posted and that is because last week I got a new shadow. Said shadow. Um, and I was spending a lot of time trying to get her trained. Um, so I didn't have a whole lot of time to do a lot of other things. And since she's a puppy, she's literally only 12 weeks old. Um, she's not the best garden pup yet. <laughs> so while I was out doing some things in the garden, it was really hard trying to manage her manage getting the stuff done in the garden and trying to record. So I wasn't able to record last week, but even though I wasn't able to record, I was still able to get out, add a few new plants. I think I'm gonna be adding new plants until I'm not adding new plants, but I added a new few, just a few new plants to the backyard, just started bringing some color in. Um, and then I was able to do some painting back here where the veggie beds are and get one of the tomato trellises installed. So um, I actually planted 12 tomato plants, a couple of pepper starts, got some marigolds and stuff in there. So I wanna show you that. And then today I'm actually going to show you how I built the tomato trellis because after I build that trellis today, we're gonna to then go into building the keyhole veggie beds so we can get the cattle panel arch up so that I can get my watermelon, my cucumbers and my pole beans planted so they can get a good start on the spring. So a lot to share as far as updates are concerned the last week since we weren't able to record. And then I wanna actually show you the tomato trellis and then show you how I built it um, because it adds such a vibe. It's gonna be so cool over there. I cannot wait. So let me show you the new plants that I got. And then we'll go over and look at the veggie bed area and then I'll show you how I built the trellis. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. <sighs> Alright, so starting with the bed off the side of the deck, I added some one of these super bells. Very pretty tropical color y'all see a color scheme here and then I've got some petunias that we put in along the front line that are purple to add some color to this bed because while we wait on the roses I'm very interested in making sure that there's some additional color um, so hopefully these fill in pretty good and hopefully I can keep Dallas out of this bed because she likes to run up under the deck like she is now and then hop through this hole. What are you doing? Dallas? Dallas? What you doing? She be cutting up. <laughs> Anyways, um, my generous gardener actually took a little beating from the Dallas from her jumping through there. So there trying go. to puppy train her in the garden so that she stays oh, out of the flower beds, but you know, it is what it is. But we added those Stay in hopes of adding some color. Stop. And right now, um, I like it a lot. So just waiting on those petunias to bloom. So it can be a pop of color right there until all the other flowers up top pull in. I also added this salvia on the corner just because I saw it was pink. It wasn't that many of them left. So I got it and I didn't know where to put it, but I figured the combination of the salvia going into the rose and the rose going into the salvia, the hydrangea coming up, be a nice little corner right here. Um, we'll see how that goes. Can I hold the camera for you? No. Yeah. Then over here, we added a knockout rose just because they are absolutely beautiful. Mama, she got her zoomies back in. These are so pretty. It's a double knockout, double pink knockout. My neighbor has some and they're gorgeous. So I was like, I need one in my life. 
I need one. You can see the viburnum is doing much better. Turns out she just needed more water. My son, when he planted her, took off half her roots. And she was going through it a little bit, so I just have to watch her on the water to keep her happy. But so far, she's looking pretty good. So that's new for back here. So let's look at what we're gonna do today. So today we're gonna do some painting. Um, this post, I'm gonna leave this here. So this post needs to be painted black. Same black as the raised bed over there. Then these raised beds, we're gonna paint black. I actually planted some of them. We got a variety of tomatoes here, so I need to do the trellises. So I've got some two by fours that need to be painted as well. I'm gonna paint this up. She want me. Because we want everything. Give her some praise. Good girl. I did. Good girl. Then we added some tomatoes back there. Some peppers. This is a sweet banana pepper and a rainbow sweet pepper. They were under grow lights. I kind of got a little, they need to be in the, they need to be in the bed. Ah! <laughs> Keeping her out of those beds has proven to be quite challenging. Oh uh, yeah, so today we're gonna paint this. We're gonna paint that. And then we are going to do all of the trellising. <laughs> all right, Dallas. Come on, Poo Poo. Mommy, I put you in your crate while I get these things painted. Come on. She's so precious, y'all. But look at every pole. Oh no, I think I showed y'all that in the travel bed. Yeah, that's not new from the last video. But look, the roses are open. I gotta show you this. And then we'll start painting. Look at our roses. OMG, OMG. So. Pretty. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Ooh, I just love it. I love it so much. And this one's opening. Oh, it's so pretty. Look how pretty they open it. Really pretty yellow color. And then they turn into this tropical paradise. Just gorgeous. Just pretty. All right, let's start painting, y'all. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden, I'll follow on golden, 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 golden things. in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing golden okay so welcome to my incredibly messy garage where all things happen so i've got six of these two by fours that i am going to install on the sides of the existing beds that are already in place uh, to use this trellises. So there's gonna be one on each side and then one going across the top and I may add one in the middle for middle support But before I start installing them, I actually want to paint them So I'm gonna go ahead and start rolling these today Hopefully we can get through all six of them and get them rolled on and dried up and then once I have the first coat on these I'm gonna go back and start painting the actual beds that are already in place so that we can get those black. Cause everything's got to be black. Everything's got to be really pretty because you know, I want it to be aesthetic. So let's get after painting these and then we'll head to the backyard to get the beds painted.
Okay, so let me have an honest moment real quick. I went ahead and got the first trellis built off camera because I wanted to make sure I knew what I was doing. So now that I have the first trellis built, I know that I can go over to the second bed and move pretty quickly to get the other part attached. All in all, it's really straightforward. Um, I'm going to tell, I'm going to show you the supplies that I use, but I had to do this on another day because this little girl was getting anxious. So Let's hop back on the camera. We're on day two and let's build out this second trellis. Monday you come over, stay a couple days. I wonder, is it gonna last? Will you keep your promise? Honor what you said, be honest. Will you do your best? You said with forever that you wouldn't leave me never. But it's all a test. Cause Friday I know better. You go out to see you later. So now that that's up, it is time to put the actual string part of the trellis up. So there's three things that I'm using to attach it to the wood. We've got these little eye hooks that we're gonna use to attach the tomato string to it like this. Uh oh. For it to hang from the trellis when i want to let more string down i just let it down we're attaching the actual tomatoes and i'm close i'm so sorry with these these are just the string clip thingies i saw this several youtubers have done it like this so we're hoping that this actually works and I like it this year uh, because that would be amazing. So now that I got everything up, I'm gonna pre-drill some holes so I can easily screw this in, hook everything up. It should go pretty quick now. Let's hop back on the ladder. Play it safe, or are you just a player, baby? Cause I need to know if your love's exclusive, if your mouth and heart's agreeing. Need to know for sure. Cause I can take this anymore. Don't want to want you more. You're running out my door and leaving me behind. I gotta get some answers before I go under, baby. I can't help but press your number now. Call you every hour, but every call's denied. I love to hit you on the weekends, weekends. That's when you trigger ugly 
Only takes a couple of kisses to bring back the best in me. Ooh. Love you on the weekdays when you stick around. Love you when you pick up when you take the time off. Love you on the weekdays when you stick around. But I, I love to hit you on the weekends. Weekends. That's when you trigger ugly feelings, feelings. Wish you wouldn't give me reasons to bring out the worst in me. Ooh, I love to hate you from a distance, distance. But when you go to me and switch it, switch it. Only takes a couple of kisses. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. The tomato trellis is up. We are pleased with that. And we are now ready to build the rest of our beds. So if I could keep. <laughs> Come on. Oh, right. Stop. Don't bite. This little stinker. Oh, say hi, Dallas. Say hi, Dallas. No bite. Say, oh, little don't bite, Dallas. If I keep this little stinker out the beds will be in business she's just so much to manage but she's gonna learn how to be a good garden pup one day at a time but now that that's done we can officially move on to building the other veggie beds and get those going because i need to get my watermelons and stuff going and it's gonna be a good growing season but that's it y'all when i start building the other beds because i did not do a walkthrough on how to do like a build raised bed i'll do a walkthrough on that when it's really straightforward but I'll take you through it um, because of the design. It's going to be like keyhole style, so we'll have to do a little bit different. But yeah, it's officially up. It looks so good. So freaking good. Um, so I'm hoping that this year it actually grows the way I want it to grow and the tomatoes aren't all wild. Um, no. <laughs> because if they aren't wild, then I will make it a more permanent structure um, and something that we use on a regular basis. So yeah, that's it. So we got plenty more to do in the garden, friends. Thanks for being patient with me. I am going to go take the little pup to go to the bathroom because her sister is struggling, struggling, struggling. Uh, so I'm gonna try to get her to go pee, get everybody settled down so we can water the grass and go inside. But that's it guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.